Hello everyone, the December Review here, back again with a movie review. Today, we have the new film Weird, the Al Yankovic story. You can find the movie available to stream with Roku on the Roku channel. So is this biography of the legendary musician a polka party, or does it dare to be stupid? Minor spoilers are ahead, let's check it out. Weird Al has been on the scene for decades, breaking out big with his parody songs and accordion mastery. With a total of 14 records released, his self-titled first album came out way back in 1983. His second in 3D was one of my first vinyl albums I received as a gift. With a mix of Dr. Demento and Mad Magazine humor infused with his good guy charm and in on the joke nature, Weird Al catapulted to megastardom. So 40 years later, we get the totally factual, not made up at all, this is how everything really happened biopic of the musician. Well, not really. We didn't think that the king of parody was about to let his guard down and get serious, did we? Daniel Ratcliffe stars as our lead Weird Al, showcases Al's upbringing and the eventual rise to the top of the music world. The film takes the concept of a biography but goes into airplane mode, spoofing every moment and its own existence along the way. We meet Al's parents, whose father is a controlling monster working at the local factory. His mom is a bit more supportive, but has her hands tied within the context of this dynamic. One day, a door-to-door -door accordion salesman stops by, and for Weird Al, the musical instrument becomes a beacon of light. Unfortunately, he is strictly not allowed to play it, forcing Al to hide his prized possession. With the home life set up complete, Al eventually moves out and begins to experience the real world, one in which his brand of accordion and polka song parodies are much sought after. He starts up a band with his roommates, sends a demo to the Dr. Demento radio show, and the rest is musical history. Oh, and he also befriends Madonna, who manipulates their relationship and ends up taking out a drug cartel before having to choose between music and ruling the world. You know, totally how it all happened. The film strives very hard to make everything a joke, or at least the setup to one, and thankfully the majority of them are, in fact, funny. For me, the movie can be split into two halves, with the first taking the more standard biopic approach, albeit in full Spinal Tap mode. The pacing is a bit slow to start and the humor stays a little closer to light chuckle versus hysterical. Things start to pick up once Dr. Demento appears, played perfectly by Rain Wilson. He takes Al under his wing and has full confidence in his abilities. In its second half, the movie takes on a different approach, getting closer to Al's first film, the excellent UHF, in terms of style and humor. Here, the movie really shines, sending our lead into different weird and exaggerated situations. Things never get to the heights of Spatula City, but for a spell we are living in the same reality, which for me was a welcome surprise. Speaking of surprises, there are a whole host of them with many cameos throughout the film. There are lots of famous people playing different early 80s famous people, and it's quite a joy to watch how it all plays out. One of them is the aforementioned Madonna, played by Evan Rachel Wood. She has an expanded role here, starting a relationship with Al. And of course, the man himself, Weird Al, is here, playing a music executive who doesn't think that the movie Al has what it takes to make it big. It's a rather amusing character, and his on-screen inclusion is a big benefit to the film. Overall, Weird, the Al Yankovic story, is a funny and mindless trip down Yankovic memory lane. Ratcliffe gives it his all as the over-the-top and determined polka titan. The film starts off well, and it gets better as it goes along eventually landing into ultra-parody mode, one that branches out into satire within its already heavily infused irony. It doesn't sustain as well as UHF, but it's going for something a bit different while finding a few similar concepts of caricature. I certainly recommend Weir the Al Yankovic story to anyone looking for a solid, dry humor throwback comedy to watch. It's loaded with great surprise appearances, and its lead cast makes it all work by staying true to its believability that it's all real. And that's the magic of movies. And this is the magic of Weird Al Yankovic. 40 years in and not slowing down. I give the film 3.5 out of 5 stars. <laughs>
like this video, please subscribe to the channel for more.